Hi guys. So I am here at the new shop on my new nail table. I'm going to talk about my <clears throat> my uh, travel art uh, bag um, that I pretty much take with me um, anytime we like fully. Well, I take it everywhere actually. When we really travel, like even, you know, out of the country or on vacations, on any kind of trips, talking with my nails, sorry. Um, I take this on planes, I take it in the car, I take it to the park, I take it pretty much everywhere. I'm planning on spending some time, especially outdoors, so I like to do plain air painting with this, um, these supplies. So, um, I'm going to take a drink from my beautiful water bottle. This is from papaya, I think. Yeah, papaya. Um, and then we'll get into it. So let's see. Um, first things first. Uh, let's see, tools. I have this watercolor, I mean this water cup. It's from Faber-Castell. And I like it because it pops out and it's a big one i need another one actually but <laughs> you can see there's watercolor dried in the bottom of this um so i need to clean it but also i would like to so i have one for dirty water and one for clean water um but i make do because i'm just you know uh, this is a believe it or not pared down kit so that's number one number two is this paintbrush holder telescopes out so that it's it can be any size I keep it as small as I can and um, I can have it sitting anywhere I can keep it closed and this holds the brushes that I don't um, use as often so a lot of these these are Princeton brushes um, here's a Winsor Newton this one, these two blue ones, um, I want to say they are even craft smart. I'm not even sure. There's an e.l.f. Um, eyeliner brush, and this these types of brushes I like to use for um, undoing mistakes on watercolor paper. This is just a like small liner brush that came with a kit, so I keep those in there. I don't use these as much, but I have them if I want them. And then in this, and this is my well-loved and well-used um, towel that I always have with me. And then I have this bag. And there are several things. This came from Marco's Paper. It's a Tim Holtz Distress Bag. I'm looking for better bags because these are not my favorite. They tear easily. They're very thin. You can see they're like very thin and not sewn great. Um, I'm looking for more bags like these, like sort of wax covered. This is papaya too, but um, this kind of almost like waxy material, you know what I mean? They're much more sturdy. Um, but to, find, to have one that, like this in this size is very expensive. Um, so I just need to bite the bullet and get them because I know they are more durable. But anyway, this came in like a kit of three and they were really cheap, so on with tools. Um, so these, this little bag holds my brushes that I use much more often. These are all my favorite brushes. So we've got a Princeton Round 6. Two more of these little liner brushes. They came from, what are you called? The Artisan Shop. And there was probably more than 10 of these brushes in the kit but these are the ones I brought with bring with me and they have like this cool triangle um, grip on them and they get a very fine point as you can see super tiny this one is a forty I don't know well, that makes no sense to me and this is a zero. Here's another e.l.f. brush. This is a concealer brush, and it's the same thing. I can use that to rough out um, 
too much color out of a painting or something like that. These both are from Plaza. They are fantastic brushes and I got them on sale. This is a number eight flat and this is a number six round. I almost wanna go back and get a filbert in this range. Can you even see what I'm showing you? These are the brushes, okay. The last two that I showed were the Plaza. Plaza is an art store. There we go. There's the flat and the round, flat eight, round six. And I use that round six constantly. And when I need a bigger wash of color, I use this Menta uh, from Royal and Lagnickel, and it's a 12. And, and it's like a, I love the way it's shaped. Really like moppy kind of brush. And then this is another one of those like cleanup brushes. It's actually a nail brush, but I use it as a cleanup brush. <clears throat> and those all go in this little plastic bag. It keeps them nice and neat. Okay, I have, this doesn't belong in here. <laughs> it's a Liquitex acrylic ink, and I like it a lot. Um, I've, this is not it. I have some. This is actually a um, Jacquard textile paint. And it's incredibly thick, you can see. Like super, super, super thick paint that's actually made for textiles, uh, fabrics and things. Um, but I like it to use it for highlights in watercolor. And I also like to use this um, acrylic ink as highlights in watercolor, but I have not, I, I think I have put that in a small thing this is also a nail art um, container. I, I tend to move things back and forth throughout the shop, so <laughs> that's how that works. But this one, I, I know I have some decanted somewhere, but and it's probably in here somewhere. But anyway, um, this bag here, this one from Papaya that I love with the blackbirds on it, this one keeps more tools. Sure. I have a little tiny bottle, a uh, spray bottle of water. So I spray my paints with this. I can use it to pour some water out into my cup if I need to. It's very, very versatile, especially for traveling on a plane. I have a pencil sharpener. It's kind of large to be keeping in this bag, but it's the best one. And many, many pencils and pens. Too many pencils and pens, but that's how I just pack things. Like, what if I need it? I'm missing a lid on a water brush somewhere. Guess we'll find it. That's awesome. So, clearly I like white gel pens and white paint pens. There's the one that needs the lid. Okay. <laughs> I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Okay, so here's the my white pens, this one is a Sharpie. This is, uh, I believe this is oil-based. Yeah, oil-based white, which is, it's a good pen for highlighting, but a super fat tip and it frays, you see. If you're trying to do a fine um, design, this isn't gonna be it for you. These are both, are these both Signos? Yeah, these are both Signo broad gel pens, which are my favorite. I like them a lot. And that's it for the highlights. And then I have, I have a ton of water brushes. Oh, I think I've taken some out since <laughs> last time. Okay, so I have three water brushes in here. They are all very old. This one, this one, this one is my favorite. And where it's from, I have no idea. Oh, it's a Sakura, Sakura water brush. This one's also a Sakura water brush. And this one, where are you from? Sakura Taki, so is that, isn't that Sakura too? Anyway. That one's Kiritaki. 
and they're good. Um, not the biggest fan. I'd rather use regular brushes, but you know, in a pinch, they work. I have a bunch of black liners. Um, is that it? Yeah. So these are doo -doo -doo, the Prismacolors and Faber Castell Pit Artist Pens. So these Prismacolor Premieres I have in. 03, 01, and 005. They're tiny, itty bitty. And the Pit Artist pens I have, um, actually am missing one. I'm missing the brush one, which is actually my favorite one, but I probably took it out to do another project. And I need to put it back in. But here is the small, the fine, the medium, and there's also a brush tip one, which is the best one. But so there's that. I have one, two, two pencils. I've recently narrowed that down. These are Faber Castell grips. Um, ma, 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 two B and a B. Yeah, yeah. That's those. I hope you can see everything. This is my eraser. One of my erasers. It is the Pentel. Can you read that? Click eraser. Bam. I like it. Um, I have always been obsessed with these pens just because they're the ones my grandmother used. Um, this is the Bit Crystal. Always have one on me. And I got this guy for drawing circles. This is pretty recent purchase, but it works all right. It's pretty good. Not like I can just draw a circle, that's for sure. I have business cards in here in case anybody sees me painting and wants to talk to me about it. I've got two other erasers in here. I've got this white eraser that I don't remember where I got, and I got a Faber Castell um, needed eraser. There's that. And I have washi tape to hold down paper if I need to, and I have binder clips to hold down paper if I need to or hold books closed. And that is what is in that bag. A lot fits in this papaya bag and I love it. Eh. Oh, there was another um, one of these guys. It's the number one. And it's like a nice long uh, da, da, da. brush tip. Okay. All of this back in here. No. What else I take with me? This is another spray bottle of water, but this is rose water. And I'm so weird. I don't know why. It like feels like good intention to me. to paint. When I paint flowers and roses, I try to use this water specifically. A, it smells good, and B, it's just like, oh, I'm painting flowers with flowers. Like, I don't know why I find that so cool, but it just, it is to me. It's dumb, it's dumb. Um, I got this, um, I ordered from Heaven Scent. It's a wonderful lady. Um, her Facebook is at Annette's Heaven Scent, S-C-E-N-T. Um, and it's at eheavenscent.com. The organic and vegan skincare. And it smells so good. But I, I'm obsessed with the smell of roses all around, so... Anyway, so I, I bring that with me too, which um, I gotta be careful with the size of this one on airplanes. <laughs> but there's that. Uh, okay, now for some fun, really fun stuff. So I'm about to show you all the paint <laughs> that I bring with me, even if I'm going out to a park to paint. I'm ridiculous, okay? I want you to know I'm aware of how ridiculous I am. I keep all of this in a leather backpack, by the way. I don't just carry a small bag. I, I carry a leather backpack with all this stuff in it. Okay, so the first thing, I sometimes bring this and sometimes don't. Um, this is the Fine Tech Pearlescent Colors. Um, the metallics here. And sometimes I'll just like pop a pan out because I use this one a lot I use that one a lot and I use that one a lot sometimes I'll just pop the pan out and bring that with me as opposed to 
bringing the whole palette like that one I also bring these guys so um, these are I'm trying to find a proper one here <laughs> These are bits of watercolor, dollops of watercolor that have been put on um, watercolor paper. And it's like all of the colors in this range um, from, who is this, Daniel Smith? Is Daniel Smith, yeah. Um, they, they have samples that you can get. And I just cut them up to like a, I don't have one that shows the logo, sorry. I just cut them up into travel size and I basically have 260 some colors with me all the time and it takes up very little space. But look at their iridescence. Are those beautiful? They're like duochromes and stuff. And you can tell I've been trying all different kinds of colors. I This du duochrome Sagro Green is stunning it's so pretty and this iridescent sapphire is as well anyway I could do this just this all day long talk to you about that but I bring those with me and I keep those in this bag right here along with you guys are gonna think I'm nuts the this is the Chirataki uh, Ganze Ganze Tambi um, watercolor palette this is the swatch on watercolor paper and that's what these guys look like these are well used I got these last time we were in uh, Las Vegas so yeah I take those because they are like simple colors your basic always need them colors and then I have these three mini tins so this is my one and only Prima watercolor tin, and I'm sorry, I always I put stickers all over everything, so you can't really see. But this is the Pastel Dreams palette. Those are the swatches for that. They're beautiful. I don't use this as much as I thought I would. This color I use the garbage out of. I use that color a lot. I use the yellow a lot too, but. Yeah, I don't use it as much as I really thought I would use it. That, though, is everything. So that one comes with me. I have a real problem going, what if I need that color? <laughs> it's terrible. I could probably combine these all into one palette and be smarter. But this is the Jane Davenport, what are you, the Brights palette, I think. I don't have the uh, swatch card in here. <clears throat> Oh no, this, this is maybe the mermaid one. Somebody tell me below which one this is. But anyway, this one's all right. It's, this is, I, I haven't had this very long. Um, very not happy with these two. They're not, mm, they ain't it. This green, oh, this is beautiful. That blue is pretty. I like this sap green here too. So that's that. That's a good one for using when doing florals. And then there's this guy, and I put swatches in there of that one, in the back of one of my cards. This one I've had the longest, and I think that's pretty obvious. And there's those guys. Obviously, I use them a lot. Obviously, I use this pink a lot. Um, I don't remember the name of it anymore, but it's opera pink, basically. And I, this is another Jane Davenport one, so I use those a lot. I like them. And then next, these two palettes have recently been um, uh, decanted into these. Um, they're, um, bah, what do I want to say? This is um, Core watercolors. This is the Core 12 um, watercolor set. Um, so I put pops of those in here and let it dry. And now I have this funky palette to take with me and that is the swatches of those and I love this Viridian and I love um, the Quinacridone Magenta and the last one is this the last <laughs> the last one is this Premiere by Nicole um, waterproof 
palette. <coughs> Pardon me. Whether it's waterproof remains to be seen, but this holds my, um, look at that. Uh, this holds my um, Dr. P.H. Martin's liquid watercolors. And um, so I put a few drops in here, let them dry. Clearly they got jumbled around when I moved. Um, so I'll have to clean that out, but it's gonna end up looking like trash eventually anyway. So <laughs> it's got this clear um, palette in it, which is nice. And um, that is the swatches of those colors and they're all gorgeous. Literally every one of those is freaking beautiful. I love this line. I want every single color in the line. I think there's 60 some colors. I want all of them and I would probably travel with all of them. Look, I was wiping the ink out of that. Look at that color. Ugh. So pretty. They are concentrated, let me tell you. So that's that. And you can see when they um, dry, see that's dry. But it has that like cool green like look to it. That's that's actually persimmon right there. But it, it, that doesn't come through in the, the um, finished product, but as it dries, it looks really, really cool to me. Um, it only does it on that persimmon though. It looks like a beetle or something. I love that. Anyway, so that's the waterproof. Apparently it is because it didn't leak out on me. Well, I mean, that's because I was trying to clean it, but yeah. So the last thing is <laughs> sketchbooks and paper. Okay, so sketchbooks and paper. Here. Up until now, these three are the only three watercolor pads that came with me. Plus, in this bag, I also keep um, some Yupo plastic paper to paint on. Um, and I need to cut some to put in here, so that's why it's not in here now. But I do travel with Yupo plastic paper pieces about like, what, like two by four or something. Um, this guy is new and it is, this is a moleskin, yeah, moleskin, um, watercolor sketchbook and you can see I haven't done a lot in here, um, swatching and stuff like that. Not a lot yet because this is new and that is like super travel friendly and if I travel somewhere and want to travel somewhere from there and make this whole kit smaller this is what I would take this one is a Canson watercolor um, this one um, it's not very old but that's when I was I took that class on um, painting gemstones um, let's see what else is in here oh um, painting a little pig for my sister <laughs> floating in a teacup um, this is some of the the roses that I painted using rose water uh, more swatches this is a current one I'm working on I don't know why I decided to work with a whole bunch of black watercolor this is just sitting out practicing at a park yeah so that's that. So that these are all fairly new uh, sketchbooks. This guy is a watercolor block, and you can see I've been working on this jellyfish for a hot minute. I know it's what I'm going to be working on this afternoon, but. So I can only work on one piece at a time in this book because it's a block. It's glued around three edges until you're finished with your piece and then you can peel it off. Um, and it's wonderful for that. And then, so this is a new addition. And I don't know, I might not take this for travel because it is pretty hefty. Now that I'm picking it up, I'm thinking, yeah, it might come to work and home with me, but not travel, travel. 
because it's just too big. Um, my friend Jennifer got this for me and it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it and um, it'll be good for back and forth but not for like full-on travel I think. And I don't know who is this by. <laughs> Trying to find out who it's by. Mm -hmm. No idea. Oh, here. Tri Coastal Design. Anyway, it's beautiful and it's got nice paper in it and it's perforated, which I adore. And that, believe it or not, is it. Everything goes into this bag right here. And it is nine times out of ten gonna be my carry-on on an airplane i just popped a jewel off my nail but whatever um nine times out of ten it's gonna be my carry-on as well so all my wallet and passport and everything else will go in there as well when i um fly and yeah so thank you for joining me for this very very extra very extra travel watercolor bag <laughs> it's not a haul it's not a review it's not a tutorial it's just it's a what's in my bag it's a what's in my travel art bag <laughs> I'll see you guys later bye